Hey guys, uh, so a lot of people told me they were having trouble with this trick, so I decided to make a video on it. So this is for entering the clock tower with Gorn Nissel, uh, so that you don't have to be on the third day, night of the third day. Okay, so first off, uh, I like to stand like halfway up this ramp and kind of towards the edge of it on the right side. Um, and then, uh, when I pull out the Picto Box to do uh, Goron Missile, I like to aim right there. So if you look, if you look at the top reticle on the uh, on the Picto Box like aim or whatever, I'm lining it up with this this black brick line on the clock tower, and that's kind of where I want it to be. Okay. So now uh, I'm gonna do the Goron Missile here, um, and and what I want to do is I don't want to target and I don't want to uncurl after I get the Goron Missile. Uh, those aren't totally necessary. Um, it can still work if you do either of those, but I recommend not because if this doesn't work, uh, and sometimes it doesn't, I'm not entirely sure why. I think it has to do with something I'll explain in a second, but if it doesn't work, you will normally get shot completely vertically in the air, and if you uncurl, you usually get stuck there until you hit the ground. That's bad. So don't uncurl and don't target. Um, now, what's really crucial is... Uh, for this to work efficiently and effectively, you want to not have very much speed when you do your Goron Pound for Goron Missile. You want to only be rolling for probably about a frame or two, any more than that, and uh, it, it can be annoying. Um, and I think that's what causes you to get shot up into the air really, really high. Uh, so try not to do that. It sounds difficult, uh, but it's, it's actually quite easy. So let's... Let's set this up here. Okay, so we're gonna get going on missile. Ba, ba, ba. Ooh, and that's how it should look. Okay, now let me try to see if I can. Oh, that's not. Okay, I'm using NTR here for uh, save states because I don't want to do a fancy edit here. This is just for for funsies. I'm gonna try to show you. Uh, what happens when it when it goes horribly wrong <laughs> uh and like i said you can save it if you do not uncurl oh that still worked but as you can see it's it's usually quite consistent uh i'll probably just give it like <laughs> one or two more shots and if it doesn't work then i don't know but I'll just explain. So basically, if you go really high in the air, um, wait for a second, and then uncurl, and then wait another second, and then hit Ocarina, and just slowly, or and just hold towards the direction of the loading zone, and and you should hit it. Um, you'll usually be right in the center of the clock tower, like when that happens, and so. Uh... Oh. That's actually not at all what normally happens there. If this happens, I don't really know what you should do. Probably nothing. Uh, probably just don't roll that fast <laughs> is is probably the best thing I can explain. But yeah, mostly this setup is, is, is really quite good as long as you don't gain too much speed. I guess I'll try to get it one more time. Probably will not because it's actually really consistent. Yeah. See, so, so there you go. Oh, uh, it crashed. I don't know how that happened, but sure. Uh, NTR is really good. So anyways, I hope that helped. Sorry, this isn't very, uh, it's kind of a crude video. So yeah, uh, but just remember that tip I said, if you go straight up in the air, wait a second, uncurl, Wait another second, hit Ocarina, and then just slowly, you'll slowly move to the loading zone if you hold towards it. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's everything. So hopefully that works for you.